to bold faces FIRS moments. Today, we will be focusing on the FIRS E solutions and the ease of paying taxes under the leadership of Mr. Tunde Fowler. In order to make tax payments more convenient for taxpayers, the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, within the last few years, has introduced the six E solutions, electronic filing and payment of taxes. I'm your host, Trisha Esegwe Kerry, and today we will be browsing through the innovative digital board strikes of the executive uh, chairman, Mr. Tunde Fowler, since assumption of office. Hashtag FIRS eSolutions at your convenience. This episode will capture the effectiveness and benefits of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS eServices, showcasing the ease of paying taxes in Nigeria. London, New York or Lagos, business or holiday, home or office, you can now carry out your tax transactions from anywhere in the world. You can now file all your tax returns, pay online, get a receipt and even process your tax clearance certificate from anywhere in the world online and in real time. All you need to do is log on to www.firs.gov.ng and click on e-services and be introduced to the world of innovation, convenience and transparency from the FIRS. You can also pay stamp duty as you register a new company with the CAC or for other transactions that request time duty payment online. You can also file your withholding tax returns and determine the withholding tax deducted from you is in government covers so that you can get your receipt within 45 days as long as the deduction has been remitted. Yes, all of this and more online at www.firs.gov.ng slash e-services. FIRS, making tax administration as easy as ABC. Please note that all FIRS services are free of charge. This message is from the Federal Inland Revenue Service. It pays to pay your tax. As a tax administrator, what we have done is deploy technology. And we have what we call the six E solutions. So as of today, you can pay your taxes anywhere in the world at any time. You can download your receipts. And this applies to both um, corporates and uh, also individual. It started when um, we assumed office uh, way back in 2015 and then we surveyed the environment, the scanning of the environment and then we did realize of course that um, to be a frontline tax administrator in 2015, 2016, 2018 and forward then you need to be highly digitalized. Uh, most administrators in the developed clients, they have their system well computerized and the number of things are done electronically. And so we felt that we also need to keep pace with what is happening all over the world. So one thing that a tax administrator has to do is to make it convenient. Uh, the next step is that you have to make it transparent and you also have to be accountable. Uh, people who pay taxes would like to be assured that they can keep accurate records. They like to be assured that um, if they do need this information in the future, they'll be readily available. And at the same time, they want the convenience. FIRS digital resolution began in 2011. However, the energy and their synergy was more emphasized in 2015 when Mr. Fowler joined the service where we realized that you know best practice and globalization is where we need to be he's a leader that believes in standards best practices so it was on that note we decided we needed to quickly get on board and start standardizing what we're doing and how we're doing it to make life easy for investors the government agencies and our staff. Our current chairman, Mr. Robert Tunde Fowler, there has been a renewed momentum and greater political will. And that is why we have been able to come up with the 6E services. Um, our services, it is not possible for the first time for a taxpayer to be able to carry out all their tax affairs in the comfort of their homes or offices without having to come to the Federal Inland Revenue Service since the year 2015 to date. Um, we have an end-to-end -end, um, tax administration solution called um, ITAS, which means 
integrated tax administration um, system. And so, but it was there, but not fully in use. And then we felt that we need to put this big machine into use because what it does, it allows us to do virtually every part of um, tax administration online, electronically. And so we, we started and began to put that machine into use. Because when we look at taxpayer or FRS as a body, our duty is to assess, collect, and account. All these things, they are in the solution we procured. We now look at the compliance. How do we now serve the taxpayers? And we build them into the roadmap. In serving the taxpayer, we look at the compliance circle. From the point of bringing taxpayer into the tax net, identifying taxpayer that this is a taxpayer, bringing into the tax net through registration, giving access to enter any platform we deploy, and also bringing into file is return, either manually or online, and making it to make payment, and giving you receipt, acknowledging what he has paid, and also clearing him through the issuance of a tax clearance certificate. All this compliance process in tax administration were thoroughly uh, reviewed, and we now say, okay, how do we now serve the taxpayer better? And the concept of uh, deploying the e-solutions now come on, come on board. Uh, that was how it started. Basically, we realized that we cannot run a first-class tax administration in 2018 to 21st century without having our system computerized. And so we began to implement what was ready long run. And that, that's how the, the, the journey started. I don't even think it's an FRS revolution. It's more like the world. Anyone who isn't using technology to do anything is behind. And if you think about it, who isn't using technology? It's moving with the times. We're trying to be ahead of the game, make things more convenient and revolutionary. When did it start? With our leader, of course, the executive chairman of FRS. He's a very innovative man, a very innovative thinker, challenges all of us to think outside the box. And we're trying to meet the demands of the nation. And in doing that, technology is at the forefront of achieving that. And that's what sort of led this revolution in adding all these e-services, e-platforms, e-payment options to bring that into fruition. It has been simplified. It's convenient. Um, all you basically need is an internet connection. You can download your receipts after payment. You can equally confirm those receipts after payment. Um, for the business community who have uh, withholding tax deducted when they're given contracts and they want to file their returns, they also have access to their payments. They can download those receipts. And when it's time for them to file their returns, they have all the information required to make sure that if they have overpaid any taxes, they can get a tax refund. London, New York or Lagos, business or holiday, home or office, you can now carry out your tax transactions from anywhere in the world. You can now file all your tax returns, pay online, get a receipt and even process your tax clearance certificate from anywhere in the world online and in real time. All you need to do is log on to www.firs.gov.ng and click on e-services and be introduced to the world of innovation, convenience and transparency from the FIRS. You can also pay stamp duty as you register a new company with the CAC or for other transactions that request time duty payment online. You can also file your withholding tax returns and determine the withholding tax deducted from you is in government covers so that you can get your receipt within 45 days as long as the deduction has been remitted. Yes, all of this and more online at www.firs.gov.ng slash e-services. FIRS, making tax administration as easy as ABC. Please note that all FIRS services are free of charge. This message is from the Federal Inland Revenue Service. It pays to pay your tax. This is Bo Tasis, and I'm right here in London to speak with Nigerians in the diaspora on the FIRS e-solutions effectiveness. Right here, I'm Bo Tasis. Yeah, my name is Orlani Anthony Ogu, the MD of RNT UK Limited and RNT Nigeria Limited. Just over a year ago, we moved into the Nigerian market. Before moving into the Nigerian market, we we did a lot of research as to tax liabilities and tax laws in the country. And one thing that we found that was very useful was the e-solutions platform of the FIRS. And having been in the country and operated in the country, we've also been able to use the e-solutions platform of the FIRS 
to file our tax return for the for the first operating year in Nigeria. It calculated our tax liability. We paid online and it generated a receipt for us. It's very, very akin to what we use here in the in the United Kingdom. So yeah, definitely I will recommend it that for people to get on it. It makes doing business and make it meeting with your tax liabilities in the country extremely very easy and very simple. Yes, we will recommend it. Just heard from a Nigerian who lives in London, Mr. Anthony Niyu Ogo, on the effectiveness of the FIRS e solutions right here in London. Its effectiveness and benefits, his experience in using the FIRS e solution platform. Back here, on Don't go away, go fix it. We'll be right back. The objective of the FRS e-filing and e-payment is to reduce the burden of tax compliance. A lot of people want to pay taxes, but when they think about the stress of paying the taxes, some may give up. They may have the tax to pay and the willingness to pay, but when they think of having to go to FRS office, from FRS office to a bank, and then back to FRS office, that's a process round tripping. It discourages a lot of taxpayers. Sometimes last year, we rolled out what we call e-solutions, and there were six of them. And it started with um, e-registration, then you have e-filing, you have e-payment, you can have e-receipt, you can have e-stamp duty, and finally, you can have what we call um, e-tax clearance certificate. The objective is to make it easy for the taxpayer to engage and easily file for their taxes as it when due. Um, the benefits is that it makes it easier. It makes it easier for the taxpayer as an experience. It makes it easier for us, the tax practitioners, and you know, to look into the system. It makes it easy to for auditing purposes, for transparency, and it's con generally convenient. And it's just the way we do it around the world. We are talking about ease of doing business. So we try to make life very easy and compliance easy for taxpayers because they are the kings. In addition, we try to reduce by e-filing, we also try to reduce the cost of compliance and encourage voluntary compliance. Uh, starting with the e-registration, the law requires, um, particularly the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, requires every citizen to file their tax returns, whether individual or corporate citizens. And, but before now, in filing that return, what taxpayer does is they go to our tax offices with their computation physically and then file that return and then we use paper to begin to review the assessment and determine whether we are satisfied or otherwise. But like I said, before we came on board, there's been um, a nine-to-end electronic solution in place and so we try to activate that and then we start with the e-registration. And what that basically means is that a taxpayer that wants to register for tax purposes now can, in the comfort of his office or home, go on his laptop or tablet, log into our website, and register online. If it's a fresh company, you start by incorporating the company with CAC. We have a handshake with CAC, both of us being sister government agencies. And so while incorporating the company from beginning, you can then get your tax identification number, which we call the TIN, and then you also register for tax. But if you're earlier being incorporated, you can get into our website and log in, and then you can automatically register for your um, tax payments without having to visit our office. So that's what we call e-registration. It is very transparent. The chairman has a, term a terminology he uses, ICT which represents innovation, convenience, and transparency. So that's the first and most important thing. The second is it makes it very convenient for taxpayers all around the world. Because we have Nigerians everywhere around the world, we have treaties, you know, tax are payable all around the world. So it's a matter of just getting online, yes, at your convenience, at your convenience, and filing your taxes, making your payment, finding out on your inquiry. If you have an issue, you call us, you reach out to us, you inquire, or you visit our website and you get solutions given to you. So it was brought up to bring simplicity for the taxpayer and make paying taxes a lot easier for everyone. Taxpayers, especially in Lagos, who will deploy the e-filing. 
Nigeria breweries came out to say, this hold up in Lagos, you have saved us. That if the month is ending, let's say for VAT filing, which which is supposed to happen 21st of every month, they will always be thinking how they will cross the hold up to go and file return and make payment and come back. When they now do that, how they will now employ people to go and uh, pursue the receipt for them. It was an Akulian task. And they are now saying that, look, if there's anything that go federal government has done for them, it's for them to sit at home and file their return. Sit at home, make inquiries online. Sit at home, pay their taxes. Sit at home, get their receipt. Sit at home, look, cost of doing business has completely reduced heavily. Conveniences are brought in. And you know IT solution, it will flag all infractions in the internal process. So even the frustrations that taxpayers encounter when they go to tax office has reduced because everything has been trapped by the system. The step-by-step -step guide is just an introduction of all those systems. And we know that some people, even when they do read through certain um, information, they may not still be convinced or still be bold enough to attempt it. So we have two uh, notebooks in most of our stations whereby you can go in and somebody will take you through the process. You can use those computers to file your returns online and uh, our staff will show people how simple it is. So the benefit of the e-filing and e-payment is that taxpayers can pay online or through their various devices without having to come to the Federal Inland Revenue Service. It also brings about trust that the taxpayer can have in the tax system in Nigeria. They now have to, through e-filing, they have the comfort of filing their returns from the comfort of their homes, bringing ICT to the, taking ICT to the homes of the taxpayers, making compliance very easy for them in every respect because it's not easy to pay tax and from our own part as tax administration we try to make it easy for them for the taxpayers to fulfill their civic obligation the law imposes on every taxpayer whether individual or corporate to file tax returns okay so it is depends on what type of tax you are paying and so there are different due days uh, which we may talk about later uh, on the due date, you're supposed to file your return to the relevant tax authority. It could be the Federal Inner Revenue Service or it could be an internal um, revenue service. The Federal is for federal taxes, while the state um, collects state taxes as well. So on the due date, you are supposed to file your tax returns. Uh, before now, again, you need to file that manually. Compute your liability, file the paperwork with the relevant tax authority, and then they review it and get back to you. But now you can file online. You can sit in the comfort of your office or home and file your return online. It gets to our back office. We review it and we can also get it back to the taxpayer. The same thing on payment. On payment, we have our problem. Taxpayers have their own problem. At a point, we link tax payment manifest from banks to receipt printing from uh, machine. Once the payments are cleared, Machine should print receipt. At a point, we have box of receipts uncollected. We don't even know where to put them. And if taxpayer comes tomorrow for their receipt, which they are legitimately entitled to, and you cannot produce it, you are. We now found a lot of people losing their job because of what? They have made the payment, they could not get the receipt. The, employ, the employer put it as their KPI, key performance indicator, and they could not meet it. Some of them lost job. And with all this, we discover that we need to make people smile, especially taxpayers. If you have to pay tax, you may not want to pay. But if you see any convenience to do it, you will do it. So the e-payment, e-filing has already reduced the entire burden of our taxpayer. What is left is to honestly declare your income and the calculation of assessment on it, you pay. And you are done. Have you paid VAT? Yes, VAT. Value added tax. That is a tax paid on all goods and services and remitted by the seller of the goods or provider of the service to the government. 5% VAT is added to the total cost of goods and services in Nigeria and when remitted to government is used for funding development. 
If you have not, look out for the Federal Inland Revenue Engagement and Enlightenment Tax Team's feet as they visit your area soon. They will educate you and help you register to pay VAT. You can also visit the FIRS office nearest to you to register to pay VAT. The VAT you pay will be used by government to develop our transport infrastructure like roads and railway lines to continually improve our educational sector by building more schools and upgrading existing ones, and to provide adequate security and a better quality of life for us all. Pay your VAT. Make contribution to the development of Nigeria. It pays to pay your tax. This message is from the Federal Inland Revenue Service. So basically, all the tax administration functions can be done electronically, and that is what e-service is talking about. E-payment of tax duty, uh, you can do the same thing. Stamp duty before now, uh, before you can pay tax duty, you first have to visit our office. You will take the transaction to our officer. They will assess the tax duty. You will take that back to the bank. You will make payment in the bank. You bring those documents back to our office, then our office will stamp. That's a quite long process. But now you could sit down again in the comfort of your home or office, log on to our website as well. All the dutable transactions are there. You pay the appropriate fee online as well, and you can get it stamped online as well. If peradventure the taxpayer just require a physical stamping on those documents, that's when you need to walk to our office for stamping. But if you don't, it generates a document with a barcode that shows that the document has been duly stamped. So what we've done basically is to make it easy for taxpayer to make to con to uh, transact all their tax uh, businesses without necessarily having to visit our office. It just basically means um, convenience, simplicity, transparency, and the e-filing system basically means that you don't have to visit the tax office, you do not have to do anything manually. You file all your, your data or, or your returns online and then you can also get your tax grant certificate response equally online. The implication of e-filing to the taxpayer is that instead of the traditional method of bringing paper, paper returns, filing their tax returns with paper to the Federal Inland Revenue Service office, they don't have to do that any longer. Now they can sit at the comfort of their offices or homes and uh, fill all the necessary information online and submit without having to go to a FRS office. So that is the simple uh, analogy of the e-tax, of the e-filing. In a simple language, it means the e there is electronic. It means that you are performing your tax obligation electronically rather than having to write them on pieces of paper and bringing them to our office. That's basically what it means. You can make payment. When we say e-payment, you pay online. When we say e-registration, you register online. When we say e-receipt, rather than you come to our office physically to obtain a receipt, when you make the payment within 24 hours, we email the receipt to you and you can print it out anywhere in the world. So that's what e-receipt does. ETCC, before now also you need to apply to us we process it um, TCC and then send it back to you. But we now call it ETCC, Mini Electronic Task Clearance Certificate. You apply online, it eats us at the back end, our staff will process it, and then they will email the ETCs to you, which you can print out anywhere, anytime, in any part of the world. So the E there means electronic. So what they need to do is to go online, HTTPS, colon, forward slash, e-filing at frs.gov.ng Click on the e-services. All of this e-solution platform will pop up. And once it is done once, and that's it. They just upload, and before you know it, it's already in the FIRS, it is treated. When they need the TCC, they can apply. When they need to make payment, they make payment. It's easy. In the case of e-registration, click on e-registration. All the e-registration does is that it's an interface. It's, it's like an interface with FRS. It's just like when you want to register for Yahoo, you know you need to go to their website, click and get your Yahoo account. So in this case, you go to www.frs.gov, go to e-solution, 
get um, get go on the e registration you insert your rc number that's your company registration if you haven't got a team before you insert your rc number it gives you it comes up you insert your email it gives you a platform where you can then you will be registered so we're slowly going to hopefully cut off uh, people from using the manual process to the new technology the electronic process well hopefully in the very near future we hope so um, because there'll still be a number of people who will still not be comfortable or will still believe that the new technology is not as efficient as the old manual system and I think every country has gone through that process um, in countries like the United States um, Great Britain and other countries uh, over a period of time they have done these things online but they also started off with a manual system. We realize the environment which we operate. We know the literacy level in our society. And then we also know that there's a preponderance of um, micro and small and medium uh, enterprises in Nigeria, some of which might not have what it takes for now to do ill transactions. And so we're running what we call a parallel line now. So for those who have the facility, the personnel, the resources to find um, online, we encourage them to do so because it makes life easy for everybody, both for the taxpayer and the tax administrator. But for those who for now cannot do it, we still collect manually. And one thing we have done also is that in all our offices across the Federation, we have a minimum of two laptops in each of those offices. For those who do not have this facility or the resources to file electronically, they come into our office and then we take them through the process. We call it an hand-holding process. And so where you do not have maybe access to computers or you do not have personnel who are knowledgeable enough to do what you need to do, you can walk into any of our offices and they will take you through your e-filing process. We've done that also to make it easy for taxpayers who are really willing and ready to pay their taxes. So we have two uh, notebooks in most of our stations whereby you can go in and somebody will take you through the process. You can use those computers to file your returns online and uh, our staff will show people how simple it is. But in terms of the impact, um, before the solution was um, put in place, we used to have a lot of taxpayers come into the office uh, to file their returns manually. It took a bit of time. Um, in some cases, it could take up to a, a week or two. But now they can do it within um, a few minutes. And um, as of last count, we have close to half a million taxpayers who are now filing online. Welcome back. I hope this episode of FRS eSolutions at your convenience has helped to highlight and simplify the FRS eServices tax payment process. It's instructive to note that paying the right amount of tax is our collective social responsibility in the quest of developing our nation. Please be encouraged to utilize the FRS e-tax payment and registration process in order to ease your tax payment. Special thanks to the Executive Chairman, Mr. Tunde Fowler, and his management team for educating us on the ease of paying taxes in Nigeria. I'll be right here again next week to share more Boldface's FRS moments with you. My name is Trisha Esegne-Kerry. Bye-bye.